Okay, so the Doppler effect is the perceived change in pitch when a listener and a sound source are, are moving relative to each other. So that means that either the listener is moving away or closer to the sound source or the sound source is moving closer um, or further from the listener. And the example that I'm most familiar with and like kind of like, oh yeah, is an ambulance. And when an ambulance goes by, you can hear it's like, wee, 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 wee. and then right when it passes you, it goes, roar, 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 roar. And it's kind of exaggerated, but you get the point. And there's two different things going on. One is how loud it sounds, and that, that depends on how far away it is. But the second thing is the actual pitch changes. So when it's coming towards you, you'll notice that the pitch is higher. And when it's moving away from you, the pitch is lower. But in reality, the siren is playing the same pitch the whole time. You just perceive it to be different because you're moving relative to each other. Um, and the reason behind this is that we perceive frequency, we perceive pitch as the, kind of the number of waves that hit us per second. So if you imagine uh, kind of crests and, and sound waves, the frequency at which they hit your ear is what we kind of use to determine the pitch. So if something's moving closer to you, um, it kind of bunches up the waves. And that's because the distance between you is decreasing. So the waves will hit your ear with shorter time in between because the object's moving closer to you. And when, it, when it's moving away from you, because it's kind of uh, running away from you in a certain way, it's going to be a longer time between those, those peaks. So it's, we're going to hear that as a lower pitch. And it's actually best shown just through a video like this. So there's our sound source and you can see that the pitch isn't changing the kind of the, the distance between those waves or the time between those waves that they hit our green person now the person is moving and you'll see that if you look they're actually hitting more waves per second and now when they're moving away you see less waves hit per second and we'll show that again so again there's the pitch by the the sound source is steady and once you're moving relative to each other now it's like in this example it's like you're running into waves faster so there's less time between the waves that hit and then when you're moving away you're kind of running away from the waves so there's more time between them so you you hear that as a lower pitch and that's the Doppler effect um, this also works for other types of waves like well, like electromagnetic radiation, you can also see the Doppler effect. Um, but again, uh, one of the important things to remember is that it's it's really a perceived change in frequency. The, the frequency isn't actually changing. And again, that that can be from relative motion. So that's either you're moving, and the the source of the sound is is stationary or reverse or both um, and so someone who's like in an ambulance and the sirens going will always hear like the kind of the actual the real pitch because they're moving with the sirens so they're not actually moving relative to the siren and that's it stop the effect